This is a riddle that I love and a student reminded me of it, so I'm going to share it with you because it seems so bizarre that we can solve it. But with a little bit of creativity and logic, we can think about a way to make sense of this. So here's, let me introduce the riddle and then you can pause it and solve it or watch how I solve it. Here in this riddle, X and Y are the two people. X says, I forgot how old your three kids are. And Y says, well, the product of their ages is 36. X says, I still don't know their ages. So Y tells, tells X, the sum of their ages is the same as your house number. X is still confused. I still don't know their ages. So Y says, the oldest one has red hair. And then finally, X says, oh, now I know their ages. Our question is, how old are the three kids, not two? How old are the three kids? Well, here's what's so amazing. We don't know the house number, and we don't know much about this problem, but, but we don't need to know the house number. We can still figure it out. And I guess the hint for me is that the product and sum were not enough to help this person, regardless of what the product and regardless of what the sum actually was of the house number. We should know that there must be a group of three numbers that have the same product and sum, because that was not enough to help this person figure out the ages of the children. So let's look at the, the groups of three numbers and find two groups that have the same product and sum. So, for example, I could take 1 times 1 times 36. And then I break 36 apart. I can have 1 times 6 times 6. Break the 6 apart, I could say 2 times 3 times 6. And then I could also say, well, what about 12? 1 by 3 by 12. Break the 4 apart. 3 times 3 times 4. How about 9? I could take 1 times 4 times 9. I could take 2 times 2 times 9. I broke that 4 up. I could have, break this 9 up, so it's, um, well, I had that already, 3 by 3 by 4. And... What else? Did I miss anything? Oh, 18. I didn't use 18 yet. So maybe uh, 1 by 2 by 18. And I feel pretty confident in this list. Now, let's look at the sums here. Here, the sum is 38. That's clearly higher than the others. It's not going to be our answer. Here, the sum is 13. Here, the sum is 11. Here, the sum is 16. We keep going, 3 and 3 and 4, the sum again is adding up, that's 10. Here's an, uh, 1 and 4 and 9, that sum is 14. 2 and 2 and 9 is 13. 18, 2 and 1 is 21. So what stands out to me right away is that there are two groups, 2, 2 and 9, and 1, 1 and 6, that multiply to get 36, and then add up to get 13. So if I was standing there, I knew my house number, right, here's my house, I knew my house number is 13. And someone said to me, well, my three kids, X, Y, and Z, or, you know, let's draw the little kids out. Kid, one, kid A, kid B, and kid C. Well, if I multiply their ages, I get 36. You say, okay, well, there's a lot of possibilities. And then, what they tell you here is the sum of, of their ages is your house number, which is 13. So if you told me this, i say, oh, okay, well, I still don't know their ages, which means it could be 1 and 6 and 6, or 2 and 2 and 9. And then you say, well, the oldest one has red hair. So let's say kid C is the oldest. We give him red hair. Which of these two groups would then be the obvious choice? Is it 1, 6, and 6, or 2, 2, and 9? Well, I think the answer is this one right here. Because in this group of kids, there is only one oldest child, first of all. And secondly, in this group, there are two oldest children. Oh, well, if you're describing one of them as the oldest and saying that one has red hair, that means there can be only one oldest, right? And they're different from the other two by having red hair. So notice in this group, there's two kids who are two years old. They're basically the same age, right? Especially as far as whole numbers are concerned. So they they are different because the, there is one oldest child with red hair. It has to be this group here. At first glance, I usually think of this one saying, oh, well, there's two oldest children and, and one of them has red hair. 
Well, as, as far as whole numbers goes, right, this can't be right because there are two children who are the same age. And, and one of them might, might have red hair, but are they the oldest? No, they're, they're the youngest child. If you told me that the youngest child has red hair, then this would be the choice because there's one child that's younger than the others, other two with red hair. So I think the answer here is that their ages are two, two, and nine. All right, hope that helped.